Bonjour Frangic ladies, it's Marianne and today in this video I am going to show you the flat shoes you should have for spring summer. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. Please subscribe, click on like, and don't forget to click on that little bell in order to receive the video notifications. And please share my video because sharing is chic. Thank you. You know very well that I love wearing high heels. And in many of my videos and in many of my outfits, I do wear high heels. And uh, many of you have asked me, Marianne, could you please do a video for us, for us ladies who wear only flat shoes? So in this video today, I am going to show you six pairs of shoes, six pairs of flat shoes that you can wear for spring, summer. The first style I am going to show you is ballet flats like this. So this is the first pair I'm going to show you is a pair of nude ballet flats. They are very, very flat indeed. Um, we call them les ballerines in French and these are very much a staple in our capsule wardrobe or in our French chic wardrobe. Nude again, I am a very, very big fan of nude shoes or nude, what we call a nude, is a color that is as close to your skin color as you can so that they disappear to the eye so that your legs appear longer okay so also they go with everything that you have any color any print they go with those so really even if one day you don't you know you buy something new and you think i have not got any shoes to wear with it which really goes against the friendship guidelines because every time you buy something it should go with as many other pieces as you have so these shoes are no-brainer they are a no-brainer because again you can wear them with every single thing okay i hope just like me you are a fan of new shoes because they are so versatile in a French chic wardrobe and this is what we want and you know when i talk about capsule wardrobe what it is what is it is a curated capsule wardrobe. It doesn't mean that you only have to have 10 items in your wardrobe, but let's say if you pick, if you picked 10 items of your wardrobe, you could wear together, you can always have a pair of these because you know that that will go with that, you know, these outfits. The second pair of ballet flats I wanted to show you is this pair of snake prints. So they are in the beige and brown. Again, these can be used as a neutral, just like the um, solid nude I showed you just before. These can be worn with so many, so many things. Again, you know, they are flat, very flat. They are very comfortable. They are in leather. They last. I've had them for about four or five years or even more now because I bought them when I was living in Mexico. For you, depending on the color scheme of your wardrobe, you know, you can pick a print in a various color scheme. Again, pick a color scheme that goes with as many of your pieces as you can. Uh, this one is the one I have. And of course, I can wear it with, because really, this color scheme is very much a neutral color scheme. So I can wear with so many, so many pieces. So this is what to do when you want to choose, you know, if you like a printed, um, a printed pair of shoes, think of how many outfits, how many pieces can I wear with it? The third ballet flats I wanted to show you are these beloved red ballet flats. And every time I show them in my outfits, you know, many of you tell me, Marianne, I love your ba red ballet flats. So here they are. They are really lovely. Um, and again, you know, they can be worn with uh, many pieces of my wardrobe. Again, they go very well with blue. And as you know, blue is my, probably my favorite color, um, because I wear a lot of blue. But you can wear them, you know, with black, you can wear them with white, you can wear them with uh, kind of beige, you can wear them with gray, you can wear them with many other, you know, pieces that you can. And as you may know, red is one of the accent colors that French women wear. So these are the three ballet flats that I have 
currently. I also have a pair of black ballet flats, but they are old and I use them for driving to save the heel of my shoes, my other shoes that I would wear on that event. I could do with a new pair of black ballet flats and I could also do with a pair of navy ballet flats uh, because I know that I could wear them with, you know, my black items, uh, my blue items, blue items, you know, that kind of thing. So these are two more colors I could bring in into my wardrobe if I were going, if I was going to buy new ballet flats. So this is the thing to do in your wardrobe. Have a look at what you have and have a look at, you know, if you're looking to buy something new, you know, think about, okay, what is the color uh, and style, of course, you know, of the new shoes that I want? What could I wear them with? And, you know, will it enhance my wardrobe? Because, of course, if you buy a new pair of shoes that you can wear with only one or two items, really, you will not be able to wear, to enjoy them to the full. You see, so when you buy something that's truly versatile, you can wear with many other pieces, you are more likely to wear them often. And the thing is, especially if you are investing in a pair of shoes, if there are a pair of shoes that are in a fairly good of money, if they're quality um, items, really you want to wear them a lot because the price to wear will not be good. Because let's say if you buy a pair of shoes at $100, you wear it twice. So every time you wore that pair of shoes, that cost you $50. But that same pair of shoes at $100, if you wear it 10 times. Every time you wear it, it will cost you only $10. And if you wear it more, you know, 100 times, let's say, that's only $100 every time you wore that pair of shoes. So try to think about the price per way. I think it's a very interesting way to look at things, you know, to show the value of it and not just the price. The fourth pair of shoes I have I wanted to show you, it's a really a funny one. It makes me laugh really that I have these. So these are espadrilles. And really, I consider them a little bit like ballet flats. And why they make me laugh? Because espadrilles make me think of when I was growing up as a child in the 70s. We had espadrilles then. You know, they were in psychedelic colors like orange. Uh, very much a big color in the 70s. And we used to wear them when we went out and about in the summer to the beach and something. So recently, you know, espadrilles have come back. And I was thinking, espadrilles, I'm not likely to wear espadrilles. But um, these are kind of style, you know, they look like ballet flats. And they only have the size in, you know, in, um, in that cord, in that rope uh, that you can see. You've got a very flat heel. And again, I think they look a little bit cute. There's a little bow here. But they are very casual. So, uh, and I've been wearing them even for, you know, walking my dogs around um, the block here. So nothing really, um, you know, casual chic, but very, very casual. But still, they're not frumpy. But, you know, I have found them so versatile. And these are not a very expensive pair. They're just a pair I bought here in the shop. Um, but they are so versatile. So really, you know, I could buy myself another pair of these or a pair of ballet flats in leather. These are just in material. Because I know that... You know, I can wear them with so many, so many things. And I was really, um, you know, nicely, pleasantly surprised, if you like, that they have been as versatile as I thought they were going to be. Uh, they look good on the feet. They're not um, bulky. As I said, they're just like a pair of ballet flats. So very, very versatile. And in navy, which I wear a lot. The fifth pair of shoes, I wanted to show you something a little bit unusual for me to show you this. These are sneakers. Um, you will see many women wear sneakers and we have been wearing this type of sneakers and certainly the Converse brand um, you know, for decades now. And um, from teenagers up to women my age, you know, we can wear them. And certainly the most uh, wear they are worn are with a pair of jeans. So these are practical, versatile, uh, comfortable. Uh, these are off-white, but, you know, here you will find most of them are white and especially the Converse brand. Um, French people like the Converse brand. And, you know, again, you can wear them with so many things in the spring and the summer. And the good thing about them is they are not as bulky as the, you know, the running shoes, the gym shoes. Uh, you can have like Adidas, for instance. So these are 
much slimmer to the foot and look a little bit better. Please let me know what you think so far of these shoes. They're very much classics, but I, what I've shown you. And of course, classic uh, for me is a big part of my wardrobe and they are a big part of French women wardrobe. They are very versatile and last, uh, you know, <laughs> a long time. That style lasts a long time. Of course, if you wear your shoes all the time, all the time, they're not going to last that long, but uh, we know that. But, um, you know, have a look for you, you know, um, you know what goes with your lifestyle. The last pair of shoes I wanted to show you, okay, is what could be considered flat. They're not exactly flat, but they could be considered flat because, okay, I'm going to show you. Um, otherwise, you're going to wonder, what is Marianne on about? So, these are wedges, okay? Why am I showing them to you? Because, you know, you can have some wedges really high, but these... They're kind of middle of the road. I did not want to not to show them to you because, you know, I was thinking, oh, you know, the heels, they're a little bit high, so they may not be considered flat. But look at them, you know. When you look closely, you will see here that the foot position will be almost flat. And this is why, you now when I wear these, I'm a little bit higher, yes. But my foot feels flat in it. And they are very comfortable for that reason. And maybe that kind of wedge might be something for you to consider if you can wear something, you know, with a little bit of height. Because just because you wear flat shoes doesn't mean you want to, you know, not to have uh, something like this, that something rises you, rises your foot. It's almost flat in the position of the foot inside. You know, the instep is not, your foot is not, it's not as if you're standing on step to, on <laughs> step to. Your foot is not standing on its toes. It's very much almost a flat position. So that might be something to consider if you can wear something like this. And again, you know, it's in a kind of a beige, mid-brown, and that can be worn with many things. Also, you can have them in, dark, in light if you want them in a uh, nude um, color if you wanted to. Or another color in red, in navy, in black, whichever. It may be something that you, you may want to try and maybe you will find them comfortable. It is always the thing to do, you know, um, wear the shoes that you find the most comfortable in. And sometimes, you know, it may be something a little bit different that you haven't tried before. So please let me know which ones was your favorite shoes and which flat shoes you, uh, you wear and the reasons why. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you very much for watching. Please share the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Au revoir.